Hi friends, this is Muhammad Jibran and welcome to our C++ tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll explain you about another conditional statement that is switch. So what is the need for going another conditional statement when we already know about if? Let me give you an example to explain you. When you call any call center, then they provide you with 10 to 9 options from which you have to select any one. If that scenario is present in your program, then you have to write 9 to 10 if statements with respective else's, which might create a big trouble for you if you want to edit it in upcoming future. So to avoid that, we have a keyword which is which is switch, which makes a life lot easier. So let me explain you with this. Suppose if you have a condition and it is satisfied, the condition 1 is suppose satisfied, then it will do the instruction written over here. If this condition is not satisfied, the switch case will go and check for these conditions. And if it if it these conditions are satisfied, then it will go and run this code of block, block of code. And if the both of them are not satisfied, then it will go and check the third one and it will execute the code written over here. If none of these three are satisfied then it will come out of these conditions and it will display the default instruction. So let us write and program to explain all this and show you how it works. So I'll declare two variables integer then let's make this integer static let me take the values from the program itself equal to 5 b equal to 6 and then will say enter your choice backslash n press take the value in C in which is C now the switch case looks like this the switch case in parenthesis you have to write the value or the variable on which the switch case will work in our case we are taking the options from the user and storing it in C so our switch case will work according to C. Now let us start the block for switch case. Suppose if the user presses 1, so what do we need to do? We need to put out the sum of A and B, that is A plus B. case 2 what it says if the user presses the 2 so you have to multiply a and b multiply it and display case 3 see out a minus b now after all these conditions we go out of the switch case and it will end our program so run it enter your choice press 1 to add press 2 to multiply press 3 to subtract let me say 
3 delta minus 1 our a is 5 b is 6 so 5 minus 6 is minus 1 so our program run a work fine we'll write one statement see out equal to a c out and b equal to B. Okay. Right. Now again, if I run it, say A equal to five, B equal to six. Enter your choice. I'll say again and it's minus one so it works fine now let me show you a twist in your program now if I select first option to add the numbers it is it will show me all the options 1 13 minus 1 it will give me all the options what I mean by that let me clarify backslash Now you can make out what is wrong going on in our program. Now let us run it again. I'll again say 1 to add 11, 30, minus 1. When you add 5 and 6, the answer is 11. When you multiply 5 and 6, the answer is 30. When you subtract 5 from 6, is when you subtract 6 from 5 the answer is 1 so if you see all the options are getting displayed all together this is the first problem and we'll go and see the second problem we have options 1 2 3 suppose if I press 7 it does not does anything it just ends up the program so let us fix both of them to fix the problem of displaying all the options together we have to add this break just this simple line will stop the occurrence of all the option what it does it after you press the case 1 and the, that is executed it will come out of this loop this after the you press 1 your compiler will come and uh, do whatever task done is written over here after that it will come out of the switch case and it will end up the program so now our first problem has been solved let us check now suppose if, if I say add it is giving me only 11 5 and 6 so our first problem has been resolved so now our second problem is yet there so to stop that problem also we'll do a default case okay in that we'll say c out select the option from given list now if the user presses any option other than 1 2 or 3 it will display this message select the option from given list let's see if it works now I'll 
press 7 again select the option from given list yes successfully it works suppose if I press it again and I want to multiply this 2 and 5 into 6 is 30 see the program works fine so this was regarding the switch case if you have any other cases like division if you want if you want square if you want cubes you can do as many cases as you want just go on increasing the cases give them the options use break and in the last use this default to for those options which are not there in your list so this program was to explain the switch case hope this would have helped you and thanks for watching the video